Winning for Life. Winners in every field in the game of life are driven by desire. There never has been a consistent winner in any profession who didn't have that burning desire to win internalized. We are moved in the direction of what we dwell on. Everyone in life is self-motivated a little or a lot, positively or negatively. Even a decision to do nothing is a decision based on motivation. Motivation is a very emotional state, and the great physical and mental motivators in life, such as survival, hunger, and thirst, as well as love and revenge, are all charged with emotion. And the two key emotions, which dominate all human motivation with opposite but nearly equally effective results, are fear and desire. Fear, of course, is the most powerful negative motivator of all. Fear is the great inhibitor that restricts, tightens, and panics, and is the red light that tells us that we can't do things because of the obstacles and risks. Fear is the great compeller that forces us to do things that we feel we have to do because of the consequences. Desire, conversely, is like a strong positive magnet. It attracts, reaches, opens, directs, and encourages us toward our goals. Fear and desire are pulls apart, and they lead to alternate destinies in life. Fear usually looks to the past at missed opportunities and problems, while desire looks toward the future. Fear vividly replays haunting experiences of failure, pain, disappointment, or unpleasantness, and is a dogged reminder that the same experiences are likely to repeat themselves. But desire, on the other hand, triggers memories of pleasure and success. It excites the need to replay these positive memories and create new winning experiences. The consuming prison words of the fearful person are likely to be, I have to, and I can't. I see risk, and I wish. Desire says, I want to, I can, I see opportunity, and I will. Desire is that emotional state between where you are and where you want to be. So desire is a magnetic tension like a bow pulled taut to fire the arrow to the bullseye. Fear causes compulsion distress. Desire causes propulsion power. Fear causes inhibition distress. Desire causes ignition power. What a person really needs in life is not a tension-free state, but the striving and struggling for a goal that is worthy of him or her. Winners have learned how to concentrate on the desired results rather than possible problems. And winners dwell on the rewards of success instead of the penalties of failure. Making good use of our minds, skills, and talents will bring positive rewards in our outer lives. Assuming the personal responsibility to make the best use of our talents and time will result in an enormous gain in happiness, success, and wealth. And this is true of everyone. The truly successful leaders, those who've achieved financial independence, time freedom, or accomplished great deeds for society, are those who